close your eyes. And please do not open your eyes until I tell you any different. You're having now the view of a blind person. With that view, imagine yourself, how would you get your daily workload done? How would you do simple things like cleaning around the house? How would you cook a meal for your family on a Sunday afternoon? Or how would you help tying your little daughter's shoes? You can open now your eyes. These two human beings, a younger and an elderly one, both from the northern state of Punjab in India, are suffering from severe cataracts, leaving them in complete darkness. Cataracts are the number one cause for blindness in the world, and they remain still a problem unsolved on our planet. A problem I would like to draw your attention to. But first, what is a cataract or ein grauer Star? A cataract is an aging process. It normally sets in when you're getting older. Your lens in your eye is gradually turning cloudy and you're suddenly realizing a light veil in front of your eyes, which is getting thicker and thicker over time. You are starting experiencing restrictions in reading your book or driving your car or just doing your daily stuff. Soon, however, you're having issues finding your stuff around your house. You're realizing how difficult it is to move around your house and you feel shaky when you're walking down the stairs. You're suddenly realizing how handicapped you are and how much you depend on others helping you navigating through your life. And then suddenly you're arriving at that point where your eyesight is gone and where you're left in darkness. Now here's the good news for you. What I have just told you is most likely never ever going to happen to you because you and I in our Western world are having the huge privilege of having access to cataract surgery at almost any time. You and I in our Western world, we can undergo treatment of our eye when we have a cataract or just slight symptom of a cataract. In our region, Cataracts are the most often performed surgical intervention of all operations happening in our region. In Switzerland, for instance, every year up to 85,000 patients get treatment on their cataracts. In Germany, our neighboring country, the amount is 900,000 patients per year. And in the European Union, every year, up to 4.5 million people are treated because they have somehow a symptom on their cataracts. Cataract surgery in our region is probably the most routine, technological furthest advanced and most successful surgical intervention one can get. And now I show you how it's done. Within just 15 minutes, your cataract lens is removed from your eye and simply replaced with an artificial lens implant. And you're receiving back a wonderful thing, eyesight. Cataract surgery is safe these days and rarely comes with any complications. It is done in topical anesthesia and you more or less can go back to work the very next day. In our region, cataract surgery is so much on edge that up to six patients per hour can be treated comfortably. And this is all because we are having this huge privilege of having access to highly trained doctors and staff, sophisticated technology, and because we are backed by a very strong healthcare system. But cataract surgery not only has a tremendous impact on our quality of life, it also carries an economic factor behind it. The German ophthalmic society calculated that the total costs of blindness in Germany alone amount to over 
9 billion euros per year. Now you imagine yourself what would happen if we could not intervene in those 4.5 million cataracts which we have to operate in Western Europe every year. That would be devastating for our society as well as for our economy. In our Western world, cataracts are only accounting for 5% of all blindness. But how? How can it then be that cataracts are still the number one cause for blindness in the world? According to the World Health Organization's Station. At this very moment where I'm speaking to you, we have up to 290 million blind or severely visually impaired people on our planet. 30% of these are suffering because of cataracts. 20 million people are completely blind because they have no access to cataract treatment. And all this is taken care often in the poorest countries in the world, in most remote areas. In these regions, not only access to healthcare is sometimes barely possible for the people, but the risk of becoming blind is up to 10 times higher than in our world. This is due to malnutrition and to the strong and unprotected exposure to sunlight. The events are devastating. Blind people are very often excluded from social life. They are excluded from education and they're also excluded from the working process. Given the fact that in the poorest countries of the world, the people are still the main production factor for agricultural work, blind people are also seen as a burden to their society because they are not able to help bringing food on the table on a daily basis. There is this very sad saying that a blind person is a mouth with no hands and nobody wants to have a mouth with no hands neither as a husband nor as a wife. When I joined our family company together with my brother Christoph, almost more than a decade ago, my father or our father has already realized the problem of inadequate equipment for cataract surgery in emerging markets. The equipment at that time was unwieldy, it was heavy and bold and very often secondhand. The failure rate of the devices was high Service and support was difficult and the running costs there for the daily operations also very expensive. To design and develop specific equipment for the needs of for cataract surgery in emerging markets presented itself years ago already as a real opportunity to our company as well as a great challenge. So together with our engineers, we have developed the very first portable cataract machine, which fitted in a pilot case, weighed less than seven kilograms, and was stuffed with cutting edge technology. Now in the very beginning, when we launched the product, we primarily aimed at markets like India, China, the Philippines, with its huge cities. We did not have too much remote surgery in the most rural areas in the world on our radar. But over the time, more and more doctors and organizations which were involved in charitable eye surgery approached us. And they told us, this is such a portable device, we have to do something with it. One of these organizations which approached us was Vision Himalaya, a Swiss-based organization which are also partnering for today's TEDx event. Now, thanks to the ongoing discussions and exchange with Vision Himalaya, we start to realize that with our portable FACO equipment, cataract equipment, we could make a real difference in the fight against blindness and cataract in the most remote areas in the world. That was a topic which fascinated me enormously. It finally brought me 
to Kathmandu in 2012, where I had the privilege to meeting Dr. Sanduk Ruit, a world-renowned surgeon out of Nepal. Dr. Ruit is one of the most humble and most, most inspiring human beings I have ever met. He has dedicated all of his life to fight blindness in the world and to give care to the poorest. He is among the very first eye doctors who advocated the use of latest surgical technology and the use of the artificial lens implant in the emerging markets. He is striving all of his life for bringing Western standard of care to the most remote areas in the world so patients there can get treatment on their eyes in a sustainable manner. I remember that dinner conversation I was having with him as it was yesterday. Dr. Ruit showed enormous interest in our product and he told me, Thomas, to finally have a device which we can bring over hill and dale to our patients has been a necessity for years. But, he said in the same breath, you all must help, because it can just the beginning, you all must help that we can bring down the costs for cataract surgery in remote rural areas to as low as $50 per eye or per patient. Only then we are able to scale our program large among other countries and regions. I thought to myself, well, that's going to be quite challenging because I knew that cataract surgery in Switzerland is priced between 1,000 and 4,000 Swiss francs. And I asked Dr. Ruit, but how do you solve the cost problem of the artificial lens implant? The next day, Dr. Ruit took me to a facility in the middle of Kathmandu, still one of the poorest cities in the world. And I couldn't believe my eyes when I found a state-of-the-art production plant for artificial lens implants. What has grown there first with a few hundred lenses per year has grown to a production of hundreds of thousands of artificial lens implants for as low as $3 a piece. At that moment, I realized that these low cost but high quality lenses were one piece of the puzzle. And I understood that with our equipment, we could be another piece of the puzzle. So back home again, we again invested time in engineering to further increase the longevity of our little cataract machine and to reduce further costs. Today, our little cataract machine can perform thousands of surgeries with barely needing any service. The consumables are specifically designed to last for many times and for the remote areas where they are used. What has once begun with the product of idea of our father has evolved to a wonderful thing, contributing to cataract surgery in the most remote areas in the world for as low as $50 per eye. The fact that we took cataract surgeries in emerging markets seriously at the very early stage helped us to join into an ecosystem which hosts so many winners today. Our equipment today can perform so many surgeries in outreach and camps and it can help on a daily basis. That in return gives me a deep and meaningful belief in a sustainable cause to which I can contribute to on a daily basis. And in our future world, the backlog of necessary cataract surgeries is still enormous. But I'm convinced that it can be reduced with further development of the technology, actively promoted training and further reduction Costs, further reducing the costs of the procedures. The biggest lever, however, remains with national and lo local governments who desperately need to invest in eye care as an integral part of their healthcare policies. Unfortunately, this is often not progressing quick enough. 
Exactly that is why the work of Dr. Ruit and so many other eye doctors around the world who spend their time in helping performing cataract surgery in the most rural and most remote areas of the world cannot be valued high enough. And thanks to organizations like Vision Tibet, they are receiving valuable funds to continue their work. Seeing cannot be taken for granted. What belongs to the standard of care to us is a denied privilege to millions of human beings in the world. A privilege you have just passed on to more than 60 human beings somewhere in the world by buying a ticket and participating in today's TEDx event. Thank you for helping bringing back light into the world and a smile on a face.